Gun building marksmen stormed government secondary school on Gwansariki Kaduna where students were writing the ongoing National Examination Council of Nigeria NACO final year papers. The incident caused panic within the area with people seen scampering to safety fearing the gunmen were kidnappers. Liberty News correspondent Lazis Ahmed Ado now reports. I'm standing at the government secondary school on one circuit where this morning parents of the student who are supposed to write their national examination council examination and neighbors were thrown into confusion as a result of panic that resulted following the movement of gunmen in unmarked vehicle that followed people and people the rumor in town was that kidnappers actually came to take the students away but that is not the case some of the students have this to say this morning we are sitting in a class and Amar robbers followed exam staff to our school. They think that it is money at their bags when they are from the bank. Suddenly when they came there, they find that it is booklet inside but they steal it and run away with it. Yes, they collect the exam booklet and go with it. No, they did not, they did not touch anyone but they tried to shoot one woman that she is with the booklet but they did not shoot her. Arm robbers now come in with their guns showing our teachers that they should, give, that they should give them money. So when, they say, when the teachers say there is no money, they are now take our booklets and gone. Then all our teachers now come out and started telling us that kidnappers have come to our school. Then all of the students now started running. They didn't touch anyone. In the period, one of the students gave eyewitness account of what really happened. The students <laughs> Then Paka, machine in a chance, a Nigeria, you couldn't say that goes in Kina and was with a Pismark. The Bindugogi, Senda Go Haka, how many are you Haka Akalini? To me, Senna Julia, the Nigeria, Senna to Abuji, they get them. Come machine, they are come machine. Hana Bala on a Garoba machine in Ama or Jempitua. Parents of the students who were writing the NECO examination in apprehension of the initial rumor that kidnappers invaded the school and did away with some student trudged the school in droves to ascertain what really happened. All efforts to make the principal of the school, Ajiabel Kiswali, you speak on camera prove abortive, asserting that she can't speak on the issue until she gets clearance from the Ministry of Education. All calls put through to the Commission of Education, Dr. Shewu Makarfi, was not answered and later rejected and he never got back to Liberty News. The Echo supervisor who was trailed from the commercial bank where she picked the examination questions by the gunmen while being debriefed by the police who arrived after the gunmen disappeared into thin air was in so much shock and refused to speak on camera to Liberty News. And what remained of the gate at the main gate is just being fixed due to what happened. It might interest you to know that where I'm standing is also another exit from the school or another entry that anybody and I repeat, anybody can access the school at any time without any restriction. A tour of the school premises show inhabitable classes that have been turned to fields and not even habitable for non-humans just as the roofs and windows are in shreds. This is what remains of the main gate to government secondary school on Gwansariki that is supposed to provide security for the school, but that is not to be. As a result, the gun money was said to have followed the National Examination Council supervisor from a commercial bank along one of the major highways in Kaduna all the way here thinking that she was holding money not knowing that she was holding uh, examination questions for the examination threatened her collected the question papers and did away with it Abdul Aziz Ahmed Kader Liberty News Kaduna